Meta just released some impressive numbers from their latest earnings report. Are they going into a big 2024? Oh, yeah. Okay, before I jump into those numbers, let's get into ticker. So taking a look here, we can see Meta is a watch. Their score is 55 out of 100 and their margin of safety is 0%. We like to see stocks with a margin of safety over 50%. We'll get into what's going on with the profitability here in a second. So this number here is not too alarming, but let's jump to that earnings calendar. We can see why the stock is starting to take off. So the estimate was 362 and the report was 439. They beat that estimate by 21%. That's outstanding. And if you jump to the financials, this is where things get really exciting. The revenue was okay. We're looking at the quarters here, quarter over quarter. Nice increase, but if you get to the net income, check this out. In December of 22, they were at 4.6 billion. They went up to 5.7, then up to 7.7, .7, and then up to 11.5, that's huge. Then with the EPS, we can see they were at 176, that's $1.76, up to 221, up to 303, up to 450. This business is showing some really impressive profits. I'll talk about why this is happening in a moment. First, I'd like to jump into some of the other numbers from that earnings report. Okay, so the daily active users went from 2.07 billion up to 2.09, little increase there. So when you go through a recession like we did in 2008, 2022 was not as bad, but we felt the pain. But in 08, I remember this time period. I was building a business. Uh, it was an agency and we would do marketing and advertising. So of course, trying to sell during the recession was nearly impossible and found out that everybody's cutting their budgets. So anybody that worked in marketing and advertising for bigger businesses, you probably remember this, you cut your costs. And really, if you're in a company and you want to cut your costs, the fastest way to do it is lay people off, which we've seen and cut marketing and advertising. So. What happened in 2022, it was really the end of 21, it was November approximately, through about March of 23. So about a year and a half, we went into this bear market or recession, and a lot of companies pulled back on marketing and advertising. And three big companies that really felt the pain include Google, or Alphabet, um, Meta, Facebook, and Amazon. Now, there's a few others on the list, like Pinterest comes to mind, but, and with this, those big players, they really felt the pain, a lot less spend, a lot of companies spending less on advertising. And if you don't reduce your cost, that means your profitability gets really small. That's exactly what happened. But now, since the market has really started to take off in 2023, I know the end of 23, we're hitting some rocky roads because inflation is rising again. You have to drive that down with inflation. but. Anyway, what's happening in this year is people are spending money like crazy to make up for lost time in 2022. So bigger companies, I could say smaller businesses too, but a lot of big businesses that have that free cash flow, have that money available to spend on marketing and advertising, they're hitting the market hard right now. And that's why jumping back into ticker, you can see here looking at that EPS, this is caused by those companies increasing their spend, which is a great sign for those of you that invest in Meta, Google, Amazon, this is what you wanna see. So here's some other exciting numbers aside from the profitability. This one surprised me. So the average user spends 7% more time on Facebook than they did a year ago. I don't get what's driving that, but hey, take the win. Um, employee headcount was reduced by 24%. I know that can be a negative, especially if you lost your job, but you have to find ways to run more efficient and Zuckerberg has done a good job at that. He's talked about, hey, we have to be more efficient. We have to be more streamlined. I get it. I remember the same conversations back in 2008. It just comes with the times. And aside from the headcount reduction, they're able to reduce their expenses by about 7%. That's a good sign as well. And then they talked about in the earnings call, improvements regarding advertising and how they use AI. 
there was an issue that happened with the Apple iOS, and this was really in 2021. It was called the ATT, App Tracking Transparency, and allows consumers like you and I to turn off tracking. So how does a company that is advertising, how do they work around this? Well, they're using AI to get smarter with their advertising. They're actually, based on some, some of the reviews I've seen, they're a little further ahead than Google. So that's a good sign for Facebook. In that regard, Zuckerberg did talk about 2024, the big focus is on AI. That's a smart play. We've seen the increase in net income, the profitability really driven by ads, getting smarter with ads by using AI. It makes perfect sense. You wanna be doubling down on AI in 2024. Now I do have to touch on one negative here. This comes with the territory. This would be in that research and development area. This relates to Reality Labs, which lost, get this 3.7 billion operating loss in, uh, over the last quarter. Um, I get it. They're doing some work on the Quest 3. Looks like Ray-Ban smart glasses and then AI Studio, which has chatbots. So with that, you're gonna be doing a lot of trial and error to see where things go. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It just comes with the territory. So they do have some free cash to play with on hand. I would say continue doing that. You have that luxury, a lot of mid-size and small businesses. You can't really experiment that much, but hey, you gotta try, see what works, see what works with some of those physical products and see if they can go to market and make some decent profit. But I wouldn't go too crazy. I would put a lot of focus on that advertising that sounds like where they're going over the next year. Let's lean into this market taking off. And touching on the market, by the way, overall, I don't see Facebook going away anytime soon. I think they're gonna lean into this and do some big things in 2024. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more like it, hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna find some strong stocks and avoid some bad stocks that people may be talking about on other YouTube channels, I invite you to join Ticker for free.